talk about hoist. We're going to talk about crank keys, putting them through their paces, uh, letting you guys know, uh, you know, my opinions on them, whether they're going to be worthy of your war teams and whatnot. Uh, we're also going to look at the year ahead, the year behind. We sort of touched upon it uh, last stream, but we didn't really get into it. So I'm going to do a few predictions on who I think we'll see this year and um, who I think, you know, was good last year and worth investing in. You get a lot of questions about that. And, um, yeah, any questions that you've got about anything else as well? There's going to be quite a lot to cover in Hoist and Crankcase. We're going to cover the newsletter as well. But, uh, yeah, any questions you've got, you're welcome to put them in stream. Uh, I want to give a big shout out straight away as well to Luke, who's donated to the stream. Big thank you. Thank you to anyone who's donated. Uh, if you uh, have donated over $20, you get access to my VIP section of my Discord server. So you're welcome. Anyone could join Discord server. Come and check it out. Um, but if you are VIP by spending, like I said, $20, it's not there as a cash grab. It's just there for those that have donated just to give them something back. I put insights in there onto what's happening in streams and play testing and a little bit of insight, really, just as a thank you for anyone that's donated. So let's uh, get the chat up and then we can uh, see who we've got in the stream. <clears throat> And we can get it up. <laughs> uh, first in the stream is Crusher11, who's a regular on uh, the streams and Discord. Welcome to the stream. We've got Bruticus, who uh, last week got access to the Discord uh, VIP server. So if you want to ask anyone what it's like, then you are uh, more than happy to ask him. He'll give you a good idea on the updates that I put in there, things like that. We've got Concusher. We've got Grand Galvatron who's one of our moderators. Welcome to the stream as well. We've got Blosswave. We have just those people just talking, nothing else. <laughs> We've got Bat Farmer as well. And obviously Luke, thank you again. We've got uh, Daniel Vera. We've got Sharks here, who's another one of my moderators. Welcome. Um, we've got Grind Time, who's one of the VIPs, a good friend of mine. We've got uh, Victory Star Saber Prime. We've got Windblade, Voodoo Ride, Jason Rowley. We've got Dr. Edgar George Zumbos. Uh, Wrecking Rule as well. We've got Garrett. Welcome. Good friend of mine as well. And I think that's uh, everyone. Yeah, so welcome to the stream. So, on my end, it's getting a bit fuzzy. Can everyone see all right? Can everyone... Is it clear for everyone, or is it just my connection? Does it look all right for everyone? Is it okay? Good to go? Clear? Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so yes, this week's event, we've got a chance event uh, for Hoist and uh, Crankcase. And um, yeah, so Prime Deliverance, so super pleased that hoist is in the game just for engineer hoist to answer you. He's waited, bless him, for what, four or five years for this spot to come. And I'm not going to lie, part of me when 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 balancing this bot thought, you know, we need to try and make it at least a pretty good bot for hoist. You know, he's going to go for it. We know he can't not. How can he not go for it? Um, so, yeah, we've made it a pretty good... Um, but just for heist, I think. Personally, anyway, I wanted to make it good. Uh, big shout out for AW who's donated as well. Thank you for donating to the stream. Thank you to anyone else that's donated as well. Big shout out and big thank you for donating. Uh, so, yeah, it's a chance event for 100 uh, prestiges, 100 deliverance crystals. So, we also get 100,000 spark, 75,000 combat spark, 75,000 combiner spark. Um, it's uh, Super XP, which uh, I'm pleased about. All these big events need to have Super XP. We had some Triple XP events over Christmas, which I was quite pleased about because it means that you can have time with your family and relax a bit. So even though I was off, I think it's a good move from Space 8. But now we're back out of that. We can get started with the Super XP events again. So the standard battle zones, as usual, uh, totalizer prizes. So... Um, the Deliverance Crystals 
give either 750 combiner spark, 750 combat spark, 1000 normal spark, or a deliverance crystal. Oh, no, sorry, no, that's every prestige. You get combat spark, combiner spark, spark, and deliverance crystal. Sorry, in the deliverance crystal, let's try again. Uh, we have a hundred character shards, um, three star, four star, or hoist crank shard, crank case. We've got four star shards, three star shards, and premium shards. So I just want to make a point about this as well. So before now, we've had no way really of talking to Hyrule, but Hyrule has set up a chat for the uh, play testers to uh, sort of communicate with him, and he asks us questions about events and what we think, and we give him our feedback. And uh, just dead quickly, a big shout out to Firefly, who's donated to the stream as well. Thank you, whether it's $1 or $20, doesn't matter. Big appreciation, big thank you for anyone that's donated. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> if you look at past chance events, the past chance events were 10% drop chance of a crystal. So they've upped that to 25%. They've also got the premium shards from, I think it was like 100 or something, or 200 to 500 as well. So you are going to get more prems. I think it was, it works out at around 10,000 premium shards, so 10 prems. It works out at like two three-star crystals, a four-star crystal. And if you complete all 100 prestiges, chances are you'll probably get 25 hoist crystals, which I think is absolutely amazing. There's a lot of complaint about people not getting the bot in chance events and i understand that and for me it was always just the way it was and how was come back with this this was not our feedback we were just giving feedback saying this was you know an amazing move by him to do this and to give us a 25 percent chance at the bot so i think that those alliances that will complete the 100 prestiges will have a good chance at getting hoist and that's a good thing because that'll push people to play more, push people to level more. And it can only be good for the game. It can only be good for everyone else. Because not only are you getting <clears throat> um, super XP for your bots and by, you know, buying bundles or leveling and also leveling bots, but you're also getting a chance at hoist. So it's a double reward. So very pleased with that. Big shout out to Space Ape. It's a good move. And I think that going forward, we'll probably see the same in every chance event where we'll see a 25% chance. So if you are in Alliance, push it this year, guys. Really try and, uh, well, not this year, but in every event, but chance event, try and get those 100 prestiges and uh, be well, well worth it. I think you'll see a lot better return. Because let's be honest, a 10% chance before, if you did all prestiges, you got 10 hoist crystals. And chances are pff, one of them might be a four-star. But I think the 25 chances... I think you've got a good chance. I really do. And uh, yeah, like I said before, guys, I'm not here just to, you know, make money for Space Ape. I'm trying to get everyone the best value. And I think that if you are going to do these chance events, you've got a good chance at getting the bot this time. So very, very worth the rewards. So yes, Hoist and Crankcase. <clears throat> so look at his ability. There's been a lot of questions asking if he's a healer. And Space Saber have said from the start that it's very unlikely we'll get another healer in the game. Four healers will be uh, just too much. So I think from here on forever, I think we won't see another healer in the game. I really don't. But that doesn't mean that we can't have bots with some kind of healing ability. And that's what we've got with Hoist and Crankcase. So uh, for 10 seconds, you and your allies attack faster and receive health every second. Pretty vague. There's crankcase there, pretty cool. Hoist, very good, with, very impressed with the artwork. Very pleased. We've got a few bug fixes as well. There's me. <laughs> uh, straight for the thrust ability can now target spider mines. Uh, they couldn't before that. It was quite, you know, quite annoying that they skipped over them. <clears throat> that has been fixed. Omega Supreme and Overlord's passive ability and glass gas ball could damage the HQ in elimination mode. We know that combiners shouldn't do that. So, yeah, although I know a lot of people were, you know, quite pleased that it happened, you know, it was always going to get fixed. It always was well, as soon as the apes knew about it. So that is the case. But uh, the good thing is that Scattershot and Leo Zach's acid cannon can now target the HQ. That was um, taken, I'm not sure it was taken away or just missed off for some reason, but people had some problems with it. Whereas the bot has had just the HQ 
and then there's been a few resource buildings at the bottom and the bot was just walking off uh, regardless. So they made it so that his acid cannon can now target HQ, which is pretty cool. Okay, cool. That's covered the newsletter. Let's go on to the test server. So, yeah, a little disclaimer, guys. This is obviously a test server given to me by Space Ape. Um, it's not my actual account. It's not connected to global. I get all these questions all the time. Yes, I have a lot of coins. I haven't bought them. I can't buy anything with them, really. It's just a sort of coin box. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to be testing a bot test it out and then have to wait an hour again. So we're just getting these coins just so we can test bots without any sort of pause and stopping. So yeah, I have a global account, but it's no way linked to this. I don't have 50 million coins or something. You know, um, in terms of the global um, <clears throat> game, I don't get really that much benefit uh, from Space Ape other than maybe knowing a bit before you guys do. That's it, really. Um, but yeah, I don't get any resources for in-game or Space Ape. All I get is Access to the server, codes to give away to you guys, and uh, yeah, access to things early. That's about it. So, um, when we first started um, the host and crankcase testing, I put I put a message in the chat just saying, "Can we please try and just push this bot a bit?" For me, you know, the past year of bots, I think the only bots that are half decent are. Uh, Chromia, I think Chromia was the standout star of last year. Uh, she was very, very good. And I still use her my outpost now. Uh, extremely good. Uh, I think Six Gun was pretty good. I think that if they can get rid of his wall humping, which you can by equipping a uh, combat bot like Top Shot or something like that, then that makes him very good. I think then behind that, yeah, Victor's put Dinobot. I think you've got Dinobot. Strafe bots that are pretty good. Dinobot has his problems. I think it needs a bit of a fix. His laser beam slows his down too much. Slows down too much. Uh, the fact that when you put his hollows down, he goes chasing and runs ahead means that he dies very quickly. And yes, he gets double the healing, but do you really want the healers running off ahead like that? Not really. No. So I think he needs a bit of a fix, really. <clears throat> <clears throat> Boo just put nose coat is amazing. Well, no comment. He has his uses. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but yeah. <laughs> Brainstorm was decent. Yeah, it was okay. But again, I think a lot of the bots last year were okay. There was no standout bots where you're like, wow, I want this bot. And I said that, you know, I have a, I have a lot of five stars. I've got Rook. I've still got First Aid. I've still got tracks that are in my war team that I choose over Prowl that I choose over Skyburst, over Sludge. So, yeah, I do have five stars, but there's still four stars that work well in a balanced team. So, you know, four stars have a place in the end game. They still have a place in the game for everyone. And I think that we need to push these four stars on. And I think it's getting to a point where some top guys have got all the five stars and four stars. And they're like, you know what? My team is set. I've got it all. I don't need anything else. I ain't buying no more crystal. And, you know, it can get quite worrying when it gets to that point. So I think we need some kind of push in bottles to make them, you know, extremely good. Uh, and a big shout out to the Crusher 11, who's also donated a dollar as well. Big thank you to everyone that's donated to the stream. Like I said, again, whether it's a dollar or whatever. And once you get to $20, you get access to the VIP section in my server. <clears throat> okay. So I've made sure this time. Let's have a look at Crankcase first. I double checked that I had him. <laughs> so we've got crankcase. Looks pretty cool. Thought I'd uh, stick to the uh, color scheme. And then we transform, we choose to. So, yeah, pretty cool. Quite boxy, but still looks pretty cool. Let's be honest, though, it always looks like this, but then we got on the field. It looks a lot better, obviously, because it's a bit further away. So, yeah, pretty cool. Four-star crank case there. Then we've got Hoist. If we can find him. There he is. There's Hoist. Pretty cool. Couldn't find a green combat to put on him. But... <laughs> And then pretty cool, like I said. 
super pleased this guy's coming to the game. You know, one of the G1 originals. And uh, yeah, pretty good bot. <clears throat> okay, Let's look at the ability. So this is a four start level 63.9. I've got a few uh, different bots, different levels, so people can screenshot them and, you know, share them out to their alliances. Uh, in terms of combats, can equip all the uh, ranged combats. It couldn't at first. We gave some feedback that we think he should, so they changed it round. He's a special bot, special class, and his ability is for 10 seconds, your allies attack 90% faster and receive 328 health every second. So obviously that's over 10 seconds. So over 63.9, that's 3,280 uh, health that he gives to the surrounding uh, bots. His damage is 557 and health is around 12,000. So great DPS, great ability, quite low health. He has the same health as Jets, to give you an idea. So you've got to protect him. Uh, great his ability will give him extra healing and a speed bonus. So <clears throat> the speed bonus is quite considerable at each level. So it's well worth the spark for his speed bonus. The healing amount already starts quite high. So if you don't really need it for the speed bonus, then you don't need to upgrade it that much. If you it's for the um, oh sorry for the speed bonus, you do need to upgrade it a lot. If it's just for the healing, then maybe not as much. Um, as a bot, I'm quite happy with this bot. I really am. Um, we'll look at the three-star as well. The three-star hoist. So even at a three-star, so has 350 DPS at level 55. And even for level seven, he goes 70% faster, so that's still 70, 80, 90, 100, depending on the level of spark for a three star. It's still the same speed, but then you receive 192 health, so that's around 2,000 health and goes up a bit less than the four star does. So even the three star will be good. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that in terms of stats, in terms of ability, if I could compare him to any bot in the game, it would honestly be Trax. And I'm not saying he's as good as Trax. But he's up there. Honestly, I do believe this is actually a really, really good bot. And he might even make my, my war team. I really do think that. Because you've got to look at it like this. So four-star Ratchet, Grand 61, 10. So a four-star Ratchet will give 2,800 healing. Just that. Just the healing, 2,800 healing. Whereas Hoist will give 3,200 healing or 3,000. So more healing than Ratchet would give. Now, <clears throat> I know there's people out there going, well, that makes Ratchet redundant. That's the good thing about this. It doesn't because I've done a bit of a calculation. Now, from Ratchet, taking his heal bomb away, you get around 50,000 healing around level 61 for a four star. 50,000 healing per battle. So, yeah, you could put hoist in, but you are going to lose that healing. So, basically, you can take a healer away. You'll get more DPS. You can still use the heal bomb, but you will lose the ratchet's healing. So, basically, imagine taking the heal beam off ratchet and giving a gun in his hand. This is pretty much it. And it combines wheel jacks and, for, and Ratchet's ability in one. And I think ability-wise, it is up there with the best. I really do. I think it's going to be an amazing ability. Like I said, for a heel bomb and a speed up. So if you're struggling in Prime League and you want, you know, you're, you're timing out on bases, this will help you. It will also give your bots more health, which will keep them alive. So... It's, you know, it could be absolutely amazing. It really is. Uh, silver box, put the problem with another medic, aka more than two, is you'll get a healing circle. Yeah, if you have three, you can get that where they're all sort of healing each other. I've had that sometimes, but all you need is one bot on the field that's below the health of the, the healers. Are. It, it all depends on the situation. But uh, yeah, I run two healers uh, myself and it works fine. But will I drop five star ratchet for four star hoist? I'm not too sure. Would I drop first aid for hoist? I'm not too sure. Would I drop tracks for hoist? Maybe. Maybe. Because although tracks gives, you know, protection, 
it doesn't increase DPS. You know, it doesn't do that. Hoist does that. So it's just a different alternative to to tracks. It gives less protection, granted, because tracks is ridiculously overpowered. But Hoist gives protection and he gives extra DPS as well. <clears throat> tracks and Hoist. Jason Roll is put. If you could drop a healer, yeah, and yeah. If you have two healers, you could maybe drop down to one. So yeah, it's definitely an option. Uh, and big thank you to Reckon Rule, who's also donated to the stream. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. And everyone else that um that has donated. Honestly, a big thank you to everyone, guys. Um, Victor's put hoist our wheel jack. <clears throat> well, again. Yes, you are getting wheel jack's ability, exactly the same, but you're losing that heal beam. So you will still lose healing over the course of the battle. You know, you are getting that speed up of ratchet, you are getting that speed up of wheel jack. So yeah, you are gonna lose healing overall, but you are gaining DPS. So you know, a very good bot. Um Blastway, kind of his ability is a healing ability. It's basically wheel jack's and ratchet's ability together, but he's Actually, you know, a damage bot. But we'll take him. We'll have a look. Uh, I took all the healing off him. So we can just see. I've set the base up to make the bot split. And you can see how it works as well. Uh, we've got Scattershot in there. And Trailbreaker, the new bots just added recently. So we'll uh, we'll try and showcase a bit of them as well. <clears throat> So we can see people saying, oh, I could replace this bot. I mean, I could replace this bot. You know, yeah, there's, there's so many options with this bot that is a utility bot that also has good damage. Like I said, just be careful of his hoist. Uh, be careful of his hoist. <laughs> be careful of his health, guys. Yeah, it is super low. So you've got to have a healer of some kind or something because, uh, yeah, super low health. So you can see there. That is uh, ability five. I think it's up by three. Got to doing damage there. You can see sticks with the gunners, similar sort of range. And you can see his ability. They will get healing, and you can see he's got the wheel jack speed as well. You can see there they get the wheel jack arrows for the speed up. His range is pretty good. Like I said, this base is designed to make people uh you know make them all split you see though ratchet has a lot better range than uh hoist does so yeah ratchet's heal bomb does have its advantages still So by the apes, he can't heal himself. Let's have a go. Oh, he does heal. Oh, he does get the speed up. <clears throat> but yeah, what we'll do is we'll try it again, uh, just with him, so we can get a bit, uh, a bit closer up. Like I said guys, this team is not balanced. Just a few bots are put together. We'll move some defenses away to keep the bots together. There we go. Stop them splitting. And we'll make a bit of a hole in the wall. There we go. So make it too hard, eh? <laughs> yeah, it is cheaper. Uh, yeah, Ratchet's heal bomb is cheaper. It's better range. But like I said, you are getting your heal bomb and the speed up. And you are then getting the extra DPS that he gives you. So... You know, it's advantages, disadvantages. That's that's what I like about bots like this. That there isn't 
I don't like bots where you're like, you know, this is the most powerful bot in the game, has the best range, has the best DPS, the best health. It makes it boring because then everyone will have the same bot and the same setup. We have bots like this where you're like, you know what? He's good. This bot's better at this, so I prefer that. Yeah, this bot's good, but this bot has this that makes him better. So I prefer that. Well, someone else will go, you know what? I actually prefer that bot over those two options. And that's what makes the game interesting, giving, you know, so many different uh, options to people. And, you know, we'll see more different team makeups. People will prefer hoist to tracks, prefer hoist to ratchet or wheeljack or vice versa, maybe sandstorm. <clears throat> it's your choice, like I said. And I like that about this the game. And I think there needs to be more of it. <clears throat> So yeah, so the cost is five plus three. Ratchet is four plus two. So yeah, ratchet is a lot cheaper. You see there, they could get the box together. They're staying alive a lot more. We'll use a bit of a. The trail breaker there to set them. Do a lot of visuals on Scattershot's uh, ability. Stick trail break there on Blade to protect him a bit. Use host again. And then the dead because Chromia's out. <laughs> Not a chance with Chromia there. <clears throat> but yeah, I agree. Crusher's put SA has started off with a banger of a bot. And I agree. I think he's really, really impressive. Uh, to the point where I would level him to maybe get him in my team. Gotta have a think about it, whether I'd want to drop tracks or not. Uh, I think tra tracks is is it two plus six? I think it's two plus six. So uh, two eight fourteen. <clears throat> After two uses, it's quite expensive. Whereas host is five eight eleven. So that's nineteen twenty four. So yeah, to us, it's quite similar to tracks in cost. Maybe over three uses or four uses. Then yeah, it would definitely be less cost than tracks. But again, it's just a bit different. It's just, you know, it's the same, similar DPS, similar health, but it's more healing and speed up. So if you are if you have tracks in your team and you're timing out on bases, then this could be a really, really good option. I would definitely consider um, looking at him. And uh, we've got a few more screenshots of the uh, Decepticons for people to look at. So uh, that's at 58 uh, eight. So still 453 DPS for, uh, you know, only at level 58. And then we've also got the uh, three-star crankcase at level 58. Still 8,000 health is quite low, but still 383 DPS still there on a three-star at level 58. Still doing 2,000 health as well. So if you're using three-star bots, then this is definitely a good bot to level. You know, if you're not going to get the four-star or, you know, your bots are around that level. And I think this would be good for lower players. I really do. Having three stars in the game that are really powerful. So, yeah, quite impressed with a uh, hoist. And I did say I wanted to go in again. 
and have a better look with just uh, two of them. So, talking about the play testing. So, when we got this bot, he had quite low health. Uh, we wanted it to heal himself, but the apes felt that might be a bit overpowered. But I thought it'd be good for power leveling. Uh, but the apes did, uh, they increased his health and reduced his DPS slightly. So, you can imagine what it was like before. Uh, they increased the healing um, slightly. 